स्टूडेंट्स बात चल रही है कनेक्टिंग डिवाइसेस की एंड वी स्टार्टेड टॉकिंग अबाउट द लिंक लेयर स्विचेस स्टूडेंट्स लिंक लेयर स्विचेस के केस में वी ब्रीफली डिस्कस द प्रोसेस ऑफ लर्निंग इन द केस ऑफ अ स्विच एंड हाउ द स्विच इज इंटेलिजेंट डिवाइस एंड इट कीप्स अ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ ऑल द फ्रेम्स दर आर सेंट टू इट um by using the capability called as um filtering and learning capability and and then it uses filtering um to intelligently route the data students in this figure you can actually look at ex an example of the learning process that's used in a in a switch um or um you can see that initially you can have our original state and in this original state your um switching table is completely empty there are no addresses and there are no corresponding ports um in the switching table of this switch our students um the first in the first instance let's suppose a sends a frame to d so this is the direction of your data it is going to this switch and it's destined for um d students um switch because the this particular switch does not know which port the station d is connected to so what it's going to do is it will broadcast this data outside um through each of the ports that are connected so it's received at 1 it will be sent out through 2 it will be sent out through port number 3 it will be sent out to port number 4 but it's uh, the switch is actually going to learn um the address of a from that communication so uh, what it will do is because a sent this frame um the switch will add an entry to its switching table with the address of a mac address of a and a port number that this station a is connected to our students let's suppose station d sends a frame to b so students d sends a frame to b and in this particular case because the switch only knows about a as per its switching table it will again um send out the broadcast through ports number 2 and 3 one pace line jayegi because one uh, switch now knows that one belongs to a uh, station a so it it will go out but at the same time what the switch does is it actually makes another entry into its switching table and that is the entry of station d it will add the station d link layer address into its switching table and will it will add the corresponding port as well so hence now after b sends a frame to a b goes in the switching table as well and after c sends a frame to d all the um stations they actually make their way into this um switching table of this switch using the process that we call as the learning uh, process and students um the only issue with this process is that if a station keeps quiet um all the time which is very rarely the case uh, only then the switch will not be able to discover the physical address or the link layer address of that particular station and the corresponding port um otherwise if a uh, um any time a particular station transmits um the switch will use this learning process to build the switching table and to record the um the mac layer mac address or the link layer address and the corresponding port of all the stations connected to that particular switch ab students baat karenge about uh, another problem that is um normally present in the case of um different broadcast lans which are connected through multiple switches students in the modern um data communication systems redundancy is very important and with the redundancy i do not mean the redundant bits that we uh, touched upon in the case of error detection and correction redundancy means is that we can have two local area networks uh, or two networks connected through two different switches so that if one switch fails the other one automatically takes over what we do is we actually add redundancy by uh, in having installing or i'm um, connecting the two networks by using more than one switch but students the problem that comes with it is called as a loop problem students whenever uh, we have got two or more broadcasting lans they are connected by more than one switch we get into this problem which we call as a loop problem students slide pe chalenge and we'll see how this loop problem works and what is the solution of this problem students as you can see on the slide we have got um, the the loop problem these 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 switches um they work fine up until we have got um redundancy in the network when i say redundancy what it essentially means is that in the case in this particular case we have got a lan which is given by lan number 1 or local area network 1 on the top and then you've got a lan number 2 in the bottom and both these lans are connected by two switches switch number 
um, one is this one. It's got two ports, one and two, and then you've got a switch number two, uh, two ports, one and two. And the reason, um, the reason we have got two, two switches connecting these LANs is just to get a redundancy, so that if one switch fails, the other one automatically takes over, and, and we, have got, we have still got a path available from LAN 1 to LAN 2. So to start with, station A sends a frame to station D. So in this particular case, this LAN sends a frame to um, both these switches. So, so, so the, the first switch number 1 gets this frame, with the source address of A and a destination address of D. And this particular switch number two, let, let me call this switch number two, let me call this switch number one. So both these switches, they, they receive this particular frame. And because their switching tables are completely empty, they both broadcast these frames through their output ports. So the first one receives this, this particular frame and it sends it out through uh, port number two. The second one does the same thing, receives this frame because it does not have any entry in its uh, switching table, it sends out this frame. Students, um, in this case, both switches forward the frame, I've already told you this, so an entry is created in each one of those switching tables and what we end up with is two copies of the frame on LAN 2, one sent by switch number one and the other that is sent to LAN number two, um, sent by switch number two. Now, this is a problem. Students, so what happens is these, these both of these copies, the AD, um, they both um, forward the frame once again, both switches, because this, um, in, in step number two, the LAN number two has got this particular uh, copy, and, and so what happens is switch number two in this case, when you send the data from LAN number two back to LAN number one, it's again sent to LAN number two by both switches, and so, so you, in this case, you will have two copies of the frame on LAN number one now. And students, this process carry, um, carries on, and um, you, will, you will have um, two copies that are sent to LAN number two again, and what we say is that we have essentially created a never-ending loop um, that is due to the learning process that is used by these switches.